Hello there, minions. Wheezy here. Today, I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about how to capture game and chat audio from a PlayStation 5 or a PlayStation 4 while you're using headphones because those motherfuckers don't put audio out to the TV and your headphones at the same time. So you got to do some stuff. I'm going to show you exactly what you need and how to do it. So let's go take a look. All right, so we're gonna get into it. The first thing that I wanna tell you is that I'm gonna put chapters in this video, so if there are parts um, like where I'm doing explanations or you wanna skip ahead just to where I do the hardware setup so you know what you need to get, how you need to set it up, you can skip ahead to the chapters that are in the description or along the timeline for this video. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is explain how the PS4 and PS5's audio systems work, why this is necessary, and what you have to do uh, to get it all working. So I'm gonna try and do it as streamlined as I can um, and get you through all of it. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is switch over into a second instance of OBS that I have running um, so that I can kind of show you how the audio um, works for the PlayStation. Now, um, later on I'm gonna get into why I'm gonna recommend you always use OBS, um, but for right now I just wanna explain how the PlayStation's audio works. So the reason I have OBS open is I wanna be able to show you, if you can see my cursor here, I have the different audio tracks that I'm capturing or that I can capture in OBS. And so you can see on the top level here, the blue snowball, which is the microphone that I'm using right now. So you can see how that moves as I'm speaking into it. Um, and then the other one that right now is Elgato 4K is my Elgato capture card um, and the audio from the PlayStation 5 that is coming through that. Keep in mind, PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4 work exactly the same. And this also works for any capture device. I used to use the Avermedia Live Game, Gamer Portable 2 Plus. I just recently upgraded to the Elgato Pro. Um, so I'm gonna to explain to you kind of the little, uh, some features that these different cards might have. So, uh, like that Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus had a headset pass-through that made this a little bit easier, but I'm gonna to explain to you um, how all of that works so that you understand all of it. Um, so anyway, getting back to this, you can see that right now the PlayStation 5 audio is going through there. So if I'm cycling through, it's got the audio. Um, but what you'll notice, I've got my little headset here. As soon as, so watch that audio track. As soon as I plug a headset into this, what the PlayStation is gonna do, see how that uh, Elgato 4K audio track dropped to silent? So now the PlayStation is outputting all of the audio through this audio port into the headphones. And unlike the Xbox, um, both the Xbox One and the Xbox Series X and S, there is no option in the PlayStation to have the audio go through both. So if we go into settings here, on um, the PlayStation. If I go to sound, under microphone, you got the headset, that's not what we're talking about right now. Um, the audio output, right? So if we go here, right now it's set to the controller headset. So keep an eye on that track. If I switch this back to HDMI device, then you'll see that that line in audio track now has audio again. It's now outputting back to the TV. But now there's no audio in my headphones. I wanna play with my headphones and I wanna hear the game in my headphones, right? So if I switch it back to controller headset, it's not gonna go. So this is a problem for capture devices, right? Um, and down here, we've got output to headphones, all at audio. You can switch this to chat audio, in which case you'll see that now the TV has the audio track again, but all you're gonna hear in your headphones is chat. So there's no actual game audio in that. So if you've got a chat headset that I guess you don't want to listen to the game through, you just want to hear chat, like if you have like one of those one-sided headsets like back in the day, that's like a Navy SEALs headset, that might be a good option for you. Since the PlayStation 4, this has been a huge complaint and for whatever reason, Sony refuses to put this option to where it can output to both sources at the same time. And I've seen, I've seen all the PlayStation people, I'm a PlayStation guy, I've seen all the PlayStation people, why would you ever want to do that? Why would you be wearing headphones and also want the audio to go through the TV? In addition to the fact that game capture is one of the primary reasons why you want this, there are other reasons, like maybe you want to have headphones on because you want good 3D audio, like if you're playing a Call of Duty game or something, and you want to hear footsteps around you, but say there's other people in the room with you and they're watching you play, for those of you who have friends <laughs> or know what that's like, they can actually hear what's going on in the game too, like if people wanna, anyway. There's reasons. The Xbox has always done it. 
and has always been able to do it at least since the three Xbox 360. Um, and the PlayStation, this it's always had to be a worker on it, and that's why you're here. So that's how it works. Um, and so I'm going to explain to you now what you have to do uh, in order to fix that. So I'm going to switch back to just my face here real quick. And um, the the big secret sauce, let me, I have to unplug it here. And the big secret sauce that you're going to need is one of these. It is a four pole splitter and it is a 3.5 millimeter female to two 3.5 millimeter males. And let's see if it's going to actually focus on this here. Come on. It needs to be a four pole. My lens has a minimum focus distance there. So if you can see, it needs to be a four pole connector because a three pole connector, um, this is also referred to as TRRS, um, a three pole connector or TRS, which is tip ring stem. TRS is tip ring ring stem. Um, you need a four pole connector to have both audio, left channel and right channel and chat audio and the four pole, so um, what's the fourth pole? Ground. <laughs> so you've got left channel, right channel, chat, and ground. If you just have a TRS, then it's left channel, right channel, ground, and there's no chat audio. Um, so if you have like a three pole splitter and you don't care about hearing chat or you using chat, then okay, but that's beyond the scope of this. I wanna make sure that you maintain all the functionality that you want in your PlayStation including being able to use chat. Um, and so that's the, the basics of what you're gonna need. And um, so let me explain how this is gonna work and I'm, I'll pop up a diagram for it as well as I'll link this to my website, wheeziesgaming.com, where I will have um, the diagrams posted so that you can download them and stuff like that. So there'll be a link to that down in the description as well. So let me just kind of um, throw up a diagram real quick of what I'm going to be explaining of how you hook this up and um, then I will kind of walk you through it. All of that discussion aside, let's get to the actual setup of how you are going to physically plug this all in. All right, so I don't feel like disconnecting my big fancy camera. <laughs> so we're going to the cell phone camera uh, for the setup part. But here we got the PlayStation controller, um, and here is the magic piece that you're gonna need. Like I said, I'm gonna have descriptions for all the stuff that you need to be able to get down in the, uh, I'm gonna have links down in the description below where you can get this stuff from Amazon, get it to your door in a couple of days, and it's an affiliate link, so it helps me out if you guys wanna use that. If not, you can just search it on your own. I'm, it's not gonna hurt my feelings. Um, but this one is the key. I'll show you some other stuff that makes my life easier. That's what I'm using. Um, but this is a, like I said, a three and a half millimeter female to two three and a half millimeter males. These are four pole connectors. So they are, uh, they support chat audio. This is important. Now what's important um, not to get, and I've done this experimentally, you can see I've gotten quite a few <laughs> different pieces of uh, equipment here. Um, this is two 3.5 millimeter females to one 3.5 millimeter male, still a four pole. I have a couple of these. Um, you do not want to get these and I'm going to explain why. What you will actually get if you do a male to two females, a splitter, um, you can get feedback into the microphone port of your, your capture. And what I mean is, when I was using this, the audio from the headphones um, was very quiet in the chat audio, but even when my microphone was off, I was getting audio bleed through. So it sounded like to people in the game that my I was sitting too close to my TV, right? They could hear my game audio through there. So this is the one that I ended up getting. This one works perfectly, there's no bleed into that and it's cheap, it's cheap is good. So um, so the way that we're gonna do this is what you'll do is you hook your headphones into the splitter. So essentially instead of splitting the audio from the PlayStation controller now, we are splitting it from the headphones. So your headphones are plugged into the female and then one end goes into the controller. So the other end of this, I have a cable down here that is a female to male, again, a four pole and I'll show you the other end of it. All right, so you'll see once I've got that plugged in there, so now I've got headset plugged into here, that's plugged into there, this is plugged into the computer. Now, the game audio is going through my PC line in. It's not coming out the Elgato 4K audio track, but it's in PC line in, because where this is going 
is into the computer. So I'm gonna jump down under my computer real quick and show you um, where this end of the cable is going. So I've got it wound down here in the back. Let's, let's, let's turn the light on. And I'll show you behind my computer here. We have got in the back the audio inputs on my PC. Now, the green one is my speakers, so that's not what we're dealing with here. Um, red is the microphone in, and blue is PC line in. And so I'll show you the other end of this cable here. This is, and actually I guess I said that wrong, this is a four pole, yeah, it's a four pole, pole female, female to male, so you can see there's the four poles, TRRS. And then this is a chat splitter, so. So let me pull this out real quick so you can see. This is a four pole audio splitter and this will be linked as well. Um, and, I'll, and I'll show you why you can do this. So what this does is it takes those four poles and splits them into two three poles. And this one you see the microphone logo and this one should have the headset logo, come on. So the green one is audio and the red one is microphone. And going back here again, you can see blue says line in and the pink or red says microphone in. So we're gonna plug that into the microphone input port and this, you can hear my computer acknowledging it, into the PC line in. And then this plugs into there. So what we're doing is we are taking the four poles, the headset audio and the chat audio from the output of the PlayStation controller and plugging it into the computer directly and so because of that uh, we have the ability to capture uh to capture those independently okay so i had to restart obs to since i unplugged and replugged in the line in but you can see there the audio is going through line in um so that when i capture it i'm able to get all that audio so again if i unplug this you'll see that the audio switches from line in to the elgato and then plug it back in and it's back to line in. And one of the cool things about having it set up this way is with my headset, if I turn on the microphone, hello, hello. You can see I'm the microphone port or the PC mic port is capturing that audio separately. So this gives you the most flexibility on how you can capture your audio. Okay, so real briefly, let me tell you, if you have something like the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus, my old Avermedia Live Gamer Portable, then they will have these headset pass-throughs, um, as I mentioned before, to help you capture the game audio. This is specifically for uh, PlayStation setups. Um, I believe it'll work with the Xbox as well, but you don't need it with the Xbox. So what you would do is you would, instead of this, you can take your headset and plug it into the headset side, right? And then you would take a cable like this, four pole male to four pole male, and you would plug that one end into the controller side and the other end into the controller itself. So now what this would do is this will allow even OBS, right? This is gonna mix uh, the chat audio for you. So what it's gonna do is make your game audio include your chat audio as well, and then output it back through to the capture device. So uh, if you have a device that has these audio pass-throughs, um, then you can do it this way, but keep in mind, in the same way that we have this setup with a device that doesn't have these, you can also just use this same setup that I just showed you and it will allow you to capture your headset chat audio into a separate channel so that you have more flexibility uh, in editing. So let's get back on the computer and I'll show you a little bit more about how those tracks work. Okay, so now that I have shown you how to set up your audio capture for your PlayStation, let me walk you through using OBS, why I think you ought to use OBS, and how to manage these multiple tracks uh, inside of OBS. So the first thing I wanna do is switch us back over to OBS, and I am going to point out a couple of things. First is that, um, as you can see, we've got the Elgato 
audio here, the PC line in, like I showed you, it's gonna be using both of these. So on any of these uh, audio mixer tracks, I want you to click on one of the settings buttons and then advanced audio properties. And in here, you'll see the audio properties as well as which tracks each of these is gonna be recorded to. So you can see for track one, this is kind of my like video game capture live commentary track where it's got the Snowball microphone, Elgato 4K, and the PC line in. So kind of by default, if I'm doing live commentary for either my Xbox or my PlayStation, um, that will grab the game audio and my microphone audio. Um, track two, I have set to just my Elgato audio, which is the capture card audio, which always is the Xbox audio, and it's the PlayStation audio when the headphones aren't plugged in. And then input three is, uh, track three is my Snowball microphone. Track four is the PC line in audio, which is my PlayStation audio when my headphones are plugged in and I'm connected through the cables that I showed you guys uh, earlier. Um, I have track five set to my desktop audio and then I just have everything in track six in case I wanna just do like a live stream and I just wanna set it to one audio track and not have to worry about it. I just make sure that I mute the tracks that I'm not using. So. That is where you can set up which input sources are going to which audio tracks in your file. Um, I will show you that inside of the settings for OBS under output and recording, I like to use MP4 as the capture container. Um, you see the error down, the error, the warning down here that says, hey, if you get an interrupted recording or something goes wrong, uh, an MP4 or an MOV file can become corrupted and unusable. Um, that doesn't happen if you use an MKV file. Uh, MKV is an open source standard for uh, a video codec, basically. Um, but in my experience, fewer applications, especially the ones that I use, are as friendly with MKV as they are with MP4. MP4 has been around a long time, um, and so things just work with it better. I haven't really had any issues where I've had corrupted files. I don't really have recordings fail. Um, very often. So if you do keep that in mind in general, it's not an issue for me. MKV will do multiple audio tracks just like MP4. If you prefer MKV, you can do that. Um, here, that's why I use MP4. Uh, for audio tracks, you can see I have them all selected. You can set up all those audio tracks and then you can come in here and selectively decide which ones you want included. Maybe you just want it to be super easy and you only want to have one audio track. You can configure that accordingly. I have it set up to use all the audio tracks because I like to decide what to do with my videos in post, whether or not I wanna have just the gameplay, I wanna have my live commentary over the top, I wanna mix input sources. I like having access to all of those tracks and then I like deciding how I mix it. Um, it also allows me to use the same clip for multiple things. Like if I'm recording a live commentary, I can create a clip that's just gameplay without my stupid voice talking over the top of it. Um, and then I can create the, use the same video with a different track to overlay my audio. Um, so that's an advantage of that. And also an advantage of how I have you setting it up where you have the PC line in and the microphone on your PC split out separately so that you can isolate your own headset chat audio in addition to if you're running an external microphone like I am. But maybe you're not and you just wanna use your headset microphone you can use this setup to isolate that audio track so you can do something similar. Um, the other settings in here, I use the 264 encoder. Um, 265 is the new hotness, you know, better compression and stuff. Um, same reason, I'm finding that not as many things play as nice with 265. Mainly the primary tool that I use, and I'll do a separate video probably where I talk about OBS specifically, or I use Vegas Pro for my video editing specifically, and I use a a free application called Lossless Cut to take longer video clips and very quickly chop them down into smaller clips. Um, that plays nicely with H.264 and not H.265, which is why I prefer 264 here. Um, if that doesn't matter to you, then go with 265 unless you have issues, keep that in mind. Um, the bit rates and stuff will depend on how you're capturing. Um, I'm capturing in like 14, uh, 1440. Um, I don't quite have the, the GPU because uh, to, do to do 4K with this. The Elgato Pro is an internal capture card, so it doesn't have its own on-chip in or on-board encoder, so it relies on the PC to do the encoding, as opposed to like the Ga Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus or like one of the Elgatos that's external. They will do all the encoding themselves, so they're lighter weight on your PC. Um, doesn't 
this stuff probably isn't gonna matter to you as much. I'll do a separate video on that before I get into those details. So the rest of that probably doesn't matter to you. Um, but here under the audio tab, that will probably matter to you. Um, let me get it out of the way in my face here. <laughs> um, you can see, you can actually go in and name these tracks, um, which is nice, especially if you're, um, to process it afterwards, if you're using something like VLC. So for instance, I'll bring up, I'll bring up a gameplay clip in, in VLC, just so you can see. Um, so that when I, when I capture this, um, inside of the audio tracks here, you will see that it actually does store these names onto those tracks. They, they actually get names, so you can easily see where that is. Otherwise, it's track one, track two, track three. Um, so in here under audio is where you can name these different tracks just so you know what's in them. So game plus snowball, Elgato, snowball, PC line in, desktop, all sources. That's how I have mine set up. You can set yours up however you wish, but that is what will give you access uh, or that's how you'll configure um, capturing from multiple tracks. So I'm gonna switch over real quick. After that's flickered, I'm gonna switch over real quick and show you guys um, how I use these tracks inside of Vegas Pro. It'll work the same if you use Adobe Premiere or some other video editing program. Okay, so here I've got Vegas Pro open. Um, I got a couple example videos in here I'm gonna show you how I work with. And down here I have already these tracks set up. This is a, a template project that I've created. Um, so I went in and named these tracks because this isn't tied specifically to um, the track names in the file. This isn't automatic, I had to go in and do this. So. When I pull in uh, a clip from the Xbox, so this is a, a gameplay from Halo, um, you can see that I have all six audio tracks in here and you can see from the waveforms that there's different things in different audio tracks. So the Elgato audio track has like the game audio, the snowball is my microphone, this game plus snowball is the mix together. So you can see that the, snow, that the Elgato track is the primary track for the Xbox. So if I um, I have the desktop audio muted. Let me unmute it here and see if we can play it. So there you can hear, and I can I can mix this, right? So if I want to turn this up and this down, then I can remix my gameplay chat versus that. Right? And because I record them on separate tracks, if I mute the snowball track, then my stupid mouth stops, <laughs> and it's just the gameplay. Right, or if for whatever reason, maybe I just you don't want to hear game audio, you just want to hear me talking. Left bumper's probably a grenade. You can see that we've got nice clean audio that we can use. Um, so having these multiple tracks is a, for me, a really good way to do that. Now if you hear the master track that I have, we're mixed in together here. I can't control the audio balance of this. They just kind of, they are where they are when I record them. Um, so that's why I have this in case I want it for expedience or just to listen. Um, but then in general, I like to work with the individual tracks. So this is on Xbox, and then if I get rid of that and I pull in a clip from the PlayStation, you will see that now my audio is down primarily in PC line in. Um, and I didn't do an audio, like not, not intentionally, so I may, what is there, like a cough in here, let's see. I mean, just like clicking around in the background. My, my snowball's sitting on my desk, even if I'm not like talking during it. Let's see, do I? Am I talking at the end of it? I love all the climbers. They so amazing. <laughs> Someone was, I was talking crap in the end there. So get that audio track. But then if I unmute PC line in, I've got clean game audio. So this is from the PlayStation when I'm wearing headphones. So that shows you how you can manage um, those multiple audio tracks that you're capturing uh, from your PlayStation. So, all right. So hopefully that was that showed you what you needed to know on how to hook up your PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 for clean audio capture with whatever device you're using. If you have any specific questions about a particular device that you're using, maybe it's not covered by what I'm doing here, uh, ask questions in the comments below. I'm always happy to respond. I'm, like I said, I'm a big, big tech nerd, so helping so troubleshoot tech issues is, uh, is what I do. So um, if, if something I'm doing here isn't set up or isn't helping you exactly with your specific thing, ask questions below. Um, like I said, I'm gonna post the diagrams I showed and just kind of set up notes um, so that you can have, if you're like me, you're like visual and you want to have a diagram, something you can set up so that when you're plugging everything together, 
That's going to be, there's a link in the description for where this post will be on my website, wheezysgaming.com, and it'll take you to there. So you can download that diagram, save it if you need to, and refer back to it. Um, if you found this useful, oh, and before I give you, before I plug my channel, links for everything that I used um, from Amazon are down below. If you use those links and buy that stuff from Amazon, helps us both out because it helps you set it up. And I'm an affiliate there, so it helps me out. If you don't want to do that, you can just look up this stuff uh, independently through Amazon. doesn't hurt my feelings. Okay, so now I'm going to plug my channel. If you guys thought that was helpful uh, and you like content like this, be sure to like this and subscribe for more stuff like this. Um, I don't mostly do tech stuff. <laughs> uh, this channel is mostly about gameplay. Um, so take a look around, see if, uh, see if the other stuff that I've got here is stuff that you like. Um, but I also like sharing stuff like this, so I'll be doing more tech videos too. It's just not necessarily the core of what I do. So if you guys didn't find that helpful, you didn't like it, you can leave me a dislike, leave a, com leave a comment saying, hey, you ramble too much, you don't, you don't get to the point, you don't tell me what I need to know. Um, feedback is always welcome. I will, uh, hopefully you guys found that helpful. I'm gonna stop talking now, and I will see you guys around. Goodbye.